Let's draw the simple chair in front of us. The dimensions are in millimeters, so this drawing will take a bit longer than usual. So you've got metric, new metric, standard, millimeter, and then say create. Here we are going to start with the rectangles. So there's my first one. You need to make sure that this one here is a thousand millimeters or one meter. We are designing this together. And that needs to be 450 millimeters. Okay. Once you have the frame, you're going to come for this part. You need to make sure that from there to there you have 450. Okay. Then you need to make sure that you have, uh, let's say, That's one thing, and this one thing. Okay, then you need this part going up to there. All right, after that, you need uh, that part going up to there. Now, from here to there, you need to have. Uh, 380 millimeters okay that part there needs to be uh, 30 millimeters good then you need to have your supports there <clears throat> okay the same applies there and uh, from here to the that's one needs to be 170 170 it is and this one here come on needs to be 30 millimeters it applies there as well okay once you've done the bottom part you're gonna go to the top part now so what you need next is <coughs> this part here so you have that for your support okay you have this one and now you have that last part then you need this uh, extra rectangle okay up to there you need to make sure now that from here to there you have 30 millimeters so 30 you can put your own dimensions 30 again now this one here needs to be 76 millimeters so 76 from there to there i want to have 30 v from here to there i want to have 77 i want to have 30 30 there as well and uh, 77 here right that is good so you realize that this part here will be 260 260 rays right good now do it now that you have uh, all this in place the next thing that you need to do now is to come on 3d model <clears throat> you click on it shows here you need to be patient oh i forgot one thing okay bear with me please so before we go there let's come here before we go there we need to give dimensions here so there to there needs to be uh 65 okay and uh, here to there needs to be uh 65 as well okay you can put 50 if you want now we can go on 3d model we click on extrude so we are going to extrude <coughs> this part here so I'm going to extrude this one that one that one and as well I'm going to extrude uh, let's say I can see the whole part that one okay and I can extrude also this one as well okay right <clears throat> 
So I'm gonna say 450. Okay, 450. Both sides of my drawing plane. Okay. Now I say. Okay. Now I come here. I right click and I say visibility on. Okay. Then I go and extrude again. Now I'm going to extrude that part. So if you don't want confusion, you can put one for now, one there. So you want to extrude uh, this part as well. So that's one, that's one, that's one, this one, this one, this one, that's one as well. By uh, two, two, uh, two to five. Yeah. But you want them to go one side, so there it goes. All right, then you say, Okay, then again, you need to cut that part. So you can cut by doing this. You click there, okay, to avoid confusion. You click that one, you click uh, this one, you click that one, that one, this one. You click that part, you click this part, you click that part, you click. The spot chair, that's one and that's one. Now you want something to remain there. So you want 50, uh, 50 millimeter to remain. So you're going to cut 75 millimeters. One, 75 I mean. Okay. You have your shape there. Okay. Then you say, okay. Again, you click on extrude. Oh, I could have kept it there. Oh, you used to do old school thing. So you come here. Now you want to cut this part. Okay. Inside the okay, inside the right. So mm, you're gonna say 350. Remember it was 450. Both sides now. Okay, can you see that? You're cutting inside the okay. Both sides now, right? As you can see, then you say cut. You say okay, right? You see down there, okay? Then the next that you want again. Oh, I keep on removing this part. You know, it's fine. So the next that you want again is uh, to click this one here and that one. That's one and that's one. Again, by the same principle, you cut it by 350 as well. Okay. Inside there. Can you see that? Inside there. You cut it there. Then you say, okay. Right. Then the last part at these ones these two these two All right you say 450 now okay now you add in you say okay visibility off oh what is part that part doing there okay <laughs> we can cut as well let's say visibility on Extrude, sorry for that. I did not see that part. You can cut it the other the other way by 175 millimeters. There you go. You say okay. Right. Now you have your chair. You've designed your chair. You can add other things if you want. You know, the dimensions and all that and all that you want. Some inclination there and so and so. However, this was a simple way to show you how you can do this, basically. So now, you're going to give the material. So you come here. You can say, which one? Walnut woods. Okay. There is your chair. It was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you're going to enjoy it. For I'm going to ask you to take care of yourself. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to like. See you on the next video. Bye.